They know my name. <laughs> Good job. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about today is, um, it's kind of like those, look, I'm laughing, I'll laugh already. You just leave now. <laughs> I'd get charged a lot of money for that, so I didn't throw it. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to talk about is uh, like those movies that have a bunch of different plot lines, and you don't really know what they're about until there's like this epiphany moment where you realize what the underlying theme is, and you're just like, love. <laughs> It's about love, <laughs> or racism, it's racism. <laughs> and uh, that's a really great moment as an audience member, uh, so I'm going to ruin it for you right now and tell you what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna be talking about innocence. And the reason I'm gonna be talking about that is a couple weeks ago I was walking down the slope and I saw something that I didn't tell anyone about um, because I wanted to save it for stand-up. <laughs> And that was hard. People compete to get likes on Facebook nowadays. This would have won, like won all competitions. So I was walking down the slope and I saw two deer having sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were looking at me and I was looking at them for way too long to be socially acceptable. And in my head, I was just like, this deer is Bambi. Like, this washed up childhood star who has to like <laughs> revert to like porn, like to relive the glory days. And it made me think about like my innocence and this deer's innocence and like versions of a really bad story about To Kill a Mockingbird I wrote all like swirled in my head. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna talk about innocence. So plot A of the movie, I was in the airport I'm not gonna tell you which one because that's extraneous information. <laughs> and, um, I was sitting there and our flight had been delayed already and people, which means, you know, people were being dicks. <laughs> and the lady at the front desk comes up to tell us like the news, like what's happening with the airplane and she goes, don't kill the messenger, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> In this situation, I am the messenger, and don't kill me <laughs> with whatever you manage to get through security. <laughs> and then she does the best thing anyone in an airport has ever done. She presses a button, and over the loudspeakers, you hear, Silent night, holy night. And while this is going on, people are sitting there, and there's like a bag, and some guy just goes, Hah! and all the bags like, tick, 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 and like smacks a baby. And then there's like an old lady who clearly dated like a sailor from World War II who was cussing things I'd never heard before. And this one guy goes, wow, this is more frustrating than I when I was in the ER when my son was diagnosed with leukemia. <laughs> That's an overreaction. <laughs> and Silent Night is playing in the background. I think Barbara Streisand was singing, which doesn't make sense because she's Jewish. Yeah. That's a tangent. Um, yeah, so that was going on. And I look over, and amidst the Christmas music and like the chaos, there's this baby who's playing with blocks. That's like the most innocent thing you can do, is sitting there, and you can see his innocence just kind of leaking, oozing out of him. There's also snot too, but that's not it. <laughs> and like you could see his like pool of innocence on the carpet. And I realized like all of those weird carpet stains you see, that's somebody's innocence. <laughs> you thought it was jizz or vomit? No, it's their innocence. <laughs> it might also be jizz or vomit. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, plot V to the movie, I was babysitting, and uh, these kids were British, so it was like babysitting really refined gentlemen and like <laughs> businessmen, it was great. And it was time for their baths, and one's a fourth grader and one's a sixth grader, and they get in the bath at the same time. And I was like, that's, that's kind of weird, that's a little, a little old. And at that point, though, they could have convinced me to do anything. They're just like, oh, Olivia, it's fine, we do it all the time. <laughs> like, That's fine. Like, they could have been shooting up heroin and be like, oh, Olivia, don't be silly. And I would be like, I am, I am being silly. <laughs> it's fine. And they're, they're in the bathtub together, and I go to check on their sister. And if you're thinking, I left two kids in a bathtub together, I'm such a bad babysitter, one, they're in fourth grade and above, and there's two of them there. So if they died, 
Natural selection. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty sad. So I come back, and they're throwing like these toys at each other, and I realize it's poop. <laughs> I'm not kidding. British poop. I, my reaction was just, you're British. You don't do that. And not like, you're a sixth grader. You don't do that. You're British. And I really think I would have been more shocked if I came back and they were like dead than if they pooped. <laughs> so, plot C. I was walking on campus a couple days ago and I saw four what I'm assuming to be engineers. And it was on the engineering campus, the quad, it's reasonable. Plus, their skin was whiter than their new balances. <laughs> um, and so, I still needed stand-up material at that point, so I decided to follow them. <laughs> and they had this conversation about Game of Thrones. And Woo! if you don't, yeah, right? And if you don't watch Game of Thrones, it is not my fault you can't find a friend with HBO Go. Nah. I am currently using my sister's ex-boyfriend's stepmom's account. <laughs> oh, this is probably going to be online later. Um, Woo! If you're watching this, Natalie is too good for you. Um, it's true. She's, that's a tangent also. Um, let's see. Game of Thrones. So this is the conversation that they had. If you could have sex with Khaleesi for the rest of your life, or have a dragon for one day, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they all go, Khaleesi, yeah, Khaleesi, definitely Khaleesi. And then they all look at each other and go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Khaleesi? She's hot. And like, they start talking about what they would do on their dragon day. <laughs> it's like, uh, there's like Harry Potter World, like Six Flags, Sea World, a lot of theme parks. Apparently dragons like theme parks. <laughs> and as they're having this conversation and I was following behind with just so much glory, <laughs> this car drives by and this guy leans out and goes, Asians! <laughs> I thought maybe these four engineers would be like hurt by this really shitty like bullying, like that's really bad. And this is what they did. They stop and they go, they all want to us. So my dragon, I think he'd be in Gryffindor. And I keep talking about these dragons. And I just stood there like, wow, these kids still have their innocence and probably their virginities. <laughs> and I just thought that was amazing, and like maybe that's a good thing. Um, but if you're sitting there and you're wondering, do I, do I still have like my innocence? Uh, let me just tell you that Santa is not real, and there's a reason your eye color is different than your parents. <laughs> I'm Olivia, thank you. <laughs>